So in this video, I'm going to give you a throwback about numeration system. And in particular, we're going to talk about the Roman numerals here, which is a part of the Fundamentals of Mathematics course. Okay, so we know a lot of numeration system already. Um, just take note that the system that we're using now is the decimal system from the Hindu Arabic numerals. Okay, so we're going to explore a bit um, of the Roman numeral system. So the ancient Romans used symbols to name the numbers they have. Okay, so the basic symbols here are also letters from the alphabet such as I, X, V, L, and so on. This system used the principle of addition and subtraction, the principle of repetition to some extent, and also um, the principle of multiplication, that is to, yes, to some, to some extent. So to give you all the symbols that they've been using, these are the Roman numeral symbols. So we have the I, V, X, L, C, D, M, um, which um, denotes the following numbers respectively, I for one, V for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500, M for 1000. So we have rules. Okay, in particular, we have four rules to follow every time we will read or write Roman numerals. So let's have rule number one. The values are added when numerals are repeated, and Roman numerals cannot be repeated more than three times. So the maximum times that you can repeat Roman, the Roman numerals are three or is three times rather. Okay, examples, so when we write xx, it means 10 plus 10, that's 20. So we're adding the two numerals, which is being repeated. We have iii means one plus one plus one, which is equal to three. And we cannot write iiii for four, okay? That will be reserved to the next, to the next um, rule. Just take note, the v, l, d are not repeated. So the v, is 5, L is 50, D is 500. These numbers, which are um, of 5, are not repeated. Okay, rule number two. For number two, values are added when a symbol of greater value precedes a symbol of lesser value. Okay, for example, so we add this. So we have 10, 5, and 1. That's the values. So we have 10 plus 5 plus 1, so we add them, that's 16. Okay, the values um, go or decreases as we write it from left to right. We have also M, D, X, V, I. M is 1,000, D is 500, X is 10, V is 5, I is 1. So we have 1,000 plus 500 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1, so 1,516. So that's rule number 2. Rule number 3. The values are subtracted when a symbol of greater value follows a symbol of lesser value. So what we have here is um, xc. So xc is equal to 100 minus 10. So we see that 10 is less than c. Okay, c is 100. So what we do here is we, sub is we subtract. So we have 100 minus this 10 written before it. That's 90. Okay, and then we have C, D. Um, C is, is 100, D is 500, so we can see that this is, um, C is lesser than D. So D, 500 minus 100, that's 400. Just take note, the numerals which can be written to the left of the numerals of greater value are I, X, and C. Okay, I, X, and C. Rule number four. The values are multiplied by 1,000 when a bar or a ventilum is written above a symbol or group of symbols. So, for example, we'll have VR bar or bar VI. So, we know that VI is 5 plus 6 because it's getting lesser from left to right. So, 6 times 1,000 because it's a bar, so we have 6,000. And then we have X, that's 10, times 1,000, that's 10,000. And we have, for example, here, var v, uh, sorry, bar v, rather, bar v, d, okay? So we multiply 5 by 1,000, plus we add 500, because d is not barred, okay, but 5 is. So 5 times 1,000 plus 500 is 5,500. Okay, so we have rule number 5, okay? I 
think I said four rules in particular, but we have five. I'm sorry about that. So let's read it. A number cannot be subtracted from another number that is 10 or more times larger. So this also uh, follows from rule number three about subtraction. So for example, so I cannot be subtracted from L to make it 49. So I remember L, if for example, if we're going to put I L, that's going to be improper and wrong in the Roman numeral system. So to make it 49, we do not write 1 L or other I L to minus 51 from 50, but instead we write it as this. Okay, X L, we minus 10 from 50, that's going to give us 40. And we put I X, we minus 1 from 10 to make it 9. So we have 49. Okay, I hope it, I made that clear. Another example, so V cannot be subtracted from C to make it 95. Okay, like writing it as VC, which is, of course, that's wrong. Um, C is 100. So if we're going to write it as VC, you're, maybe you're imagining in your head that it's going to be 100 minus 5 to make it 95. So that's very wrong. Instead, use this. X, C, we minus 10 from C, that's 100. So 10 minus 100 is 90. V plus 5, that's 95. And also, one never writes 99 as IC, okay? Like, like our examples above. So 100 minus I is 99 in our heads, but that's improper in Roman numeral system. Instead, we would write, like, write it like this, XC. So we minus 10 from C, that is 100. So 100 minus 10 is 90, and then IX. 10 minus 1 is 9. So this is 99. Okay, I hope I made it clear. So um, to make it more um, visible in your eyes, I'm going to give you a table that um, showcases a lot of Roman numerals at once. So I equals 1, double I equals 2, triple I equals 3, and so on. You can see it. And another one. So those are, maybe these are, you know, for me, this is, these are help, this is a helpful table. So you may take a picture of this um, slide if you want, of course, so that you can have a copy when we'll do the exercises on the next slide, okay? So hopefully you have the picture now. Okay, let's do the exercises. So for number one, write the following in Roman numerals. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Kindly pause the video so that you can answer. Get a piece of paper and, you know, um, answer it anywhere. Okay, I think you have the answer now. So let's have, let's write this in numeral system. So we have 293. So first up, we have CS for 200. Okay, let, this, is, this is the correct answer. C is for 100. So double C means 200. 90 again. Um, we have 100 minus 10. So this is 200. This is 90, this is 3. So 293. Okay, again, 293. So for number 2, this is the answer. So this is more than 1,000, and this is actually um, 6,000. So we must use the bar. So remember that V is 5. Multiply that by 1,000 by the bar here. So this is 5,000 plus m that is 1000 so we have bar v m that's 6000 we have 400 so we minus 100 from 500 so this is cd so 500 minus 100 this is 400 20 is just double double x and 8 is v111 or i i i sorry so we have bar v m c d this is 6000 this is 400 this is 20 this is 8. Okay, for number 3, for 87, okay, quite challenging, but it's a simple number, but in Roman numerals, it looks like this, right? So we have L for 50. We have 3Xs for 30. So 50 plus 30 is 80. And we put VII for 7. So this is 87. Okay, for number 4, quite a big number, but it's easy to put it in Roman numerals, actually. So we have D. D is um 500 so 500 multiplied that by 1000 is 500,000 and we have um 
three tens here. So we have 30. So this is 30,000. And we have four that's barred. So that is 4,000. So we have 534,000 by the bar. Okay. And then we have 003. That's it for number four. And for number five, this is quite, um, you know, quite long for a short number. If you, you can see that number four is big, is bigger uh, um, in value in the decimal system, but that's a shorter um, Roman numeral system, Roman numeral writing other than five, which is, you know, of much lesser value. But it, it, this is about writing and reading, not about comparing the systems. Anyways, let's answer. 28,714. So we have double x's and bar them that's this is 20,000 v um bar is 5,000 okay so xx v bar this is um 25,000 add 3 m's here this is 25,000 plus 3,000 is 28,000 or you can just you know put three i's here Okay, V I I I, and then bar those I's. So that's also 28,000, right? So this is 25,000 plus 3,000, that's 28,000. D is 500. CC is 200, so this is 700. X is 10, and 14 is 4. So we have 25,000 plus 3,000, 28,000. D plus CCC is 700, 700. This is 10, this is 4. So 28,000. 714. Okay, but that's for um, writing it in Roman numerals. Okay, for test number two, let's do this in reverse. Write the following in Hindu Arabic numerals or our decimal system we're using. So I'm going to show you Roman numerals and kindly write them in the decimal system we're using now. You can pause the video to answer. Okay, so let's have the answers now. So this is, what number is this? So we have XXX. So this is 30, uh, three X's. 30, this is 5, this is 3, this is 8. So we have 38 for number 1. For number 2, we have DC. So D is bigger than C compared to this number 3. So we'll go to that. So 500 plus 100, this is 610. 610 plus 6. So we have 616, 616. Okay, for number three, um, notice compared to your number two, this is opposite letter. So this is 100 and 500. So that by the rule number three, we will subtract um, 500, or rather we'll subtract um, 100 from 500. This is gonna become 400. Um, this is 50 plus 20, so we have 70. So we have 470. For number four, uh, M is 1,000, double M, M's means 2,000, C is 100, 2,100, L is 50, V is 5, so 2,155. Now, number 5, let's answer this. Um, X, X, and V are barred. So without the bar, we read this as 25. With the bar, we read this as 25,000, right? So 25,000, D is um, 500 plus double C's, that's 500 plus 200, that's 700. So we have 25,720, zero ones. Okay, 25,720. Okay, from those 10 item tests, I hope you get a score of, you know, seven or up. Okay, that would be great. If you have some difficulty, you can always go back and rewatch this video. All right. So yeah, that's the end of the Roman numerals video. So um, yeah, a quite brief and just a review of how we do the Roman numeral system. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.